He has a lot of blood in his hands. And Turn around. And, and, and it's not right. It's amazing that they're allowed to roll deep with masks, but we're not. They can allow. Look at all that. The display of force and the hypocrisy is the hypocrisy is incredible. That this is the problem with Cuomo. Okay, he's like responsible, the adult in the room about the coronavirus in America. Okay, and the coronavirus is a big deal and we're shutting down the world and we're shutting down our ability to protest and now he's shutting down the subway at night to clean it. The subway, yeah, the subway operating in America right now is the thing that is breeding this virus and sending it throughout the whole country. The subway is the number one breeding ground for the virus. And he has not shut down the subway system. That goes to show that it is not his motivation to save our lives. It is his motivation to take control over every little aspect of our lives. I've been waiting for... And, and what would be... Um, what, would, what he has from it? Like, why does he do it just to want to control? That's it? Or? Yeah. Don't you see him gloating in the limelight? Everyone loves fame. Everyone loves power. coronavirus positive patients into nursing homes. The journalist told him that this coronavirus is more of a threat for these elderly people than it is for young people. The young people can perhaps recover, have a better chance of recovering than the elderly. And he knew about it. He even said himself that the nursing homes are a hotbed for coronavirus. Okay, then why would I, you take them to the nursing homes? I'm frustrated I, about yeah, that too. I, I, me too. And I covered that too. But what I'm wondering is like, why are you protesting like to reopen New York when there is still so much cases because I was talking with the other folks and they were right. saying they don't right. believe the, the Listen, numbers and stuff so what do you think? My baby sister is an ICU nurse yeah. she goes to the ICU to work every single day to save corona patients lives my boss is a rabbi whose job it is for the orthodox community to prepare their bodies for burial and he works at Maimonides Hospital preparing their bodies for burial, okay? In Corona Alley, okay? They can work, but we can't. I haven't gotten my unemployment for seven weeks. I am trapped here. I am trapped. The whole entire economy shut down. We can't pay our rent. The landlords can't request rent from us. That now means the government owns all the property. They decide what happens, not me. So you don't think that if everything opens, the virus spread and more people will die? The people that were going to die from this virus already died. The people that are going to die from this virus are going to die. But what about the young people who died? What about who? We know so much more about this disease than we did before. We'll be able to keep up with it. And the number one thing we need to realize, it's not a conspiracy theory anymore that this is a bioweapon. It is a bioweapon. They admitted to it. The China admitted to it. They made a mistake. This thing was built in a lab and it leaked. And America paid $3.7 million for it. I know that's what Trump says and some other people, but China never admitted to it. When did you... China admitted to it being a bioweapon and it leaking out of a lab. When, when did that happen? When did it leak? No, like December? About a week and a half ago. And you can, can you tell me the source so I can Go, oh, Everyone, just look it up. It's so, it, like, it's so blatantly obvious. Yes. Yes. And 
what we're doing is a bioweapon for a bioweapon we are shutting down our whole entire economy and here's the biggest problem with it i can go to the supermarket all these cops are allowed to stand together i can't protest with a mask that's what this is about this isn't about saving us this is about separating us so we can only communicate on our phones so the people that edward snowden was warning about us about can monitor every single one of our communications that's why they don't want us at churches that's why they don't want us assembling because with the phones they can monitor our communication okay but what would you do if you are ruling the country and there is a pandemic isn't like a i don't know common sense to just like stop gathering so it doesn't spread what did sweden do Sorry? what did sweden do They gave pretty strong guidelines. Do you think if there's a pandemic out there, people are gonna do exactly what they did before? People are gonna take precautions. People are gonna- What happened now in Brooklyn that 2,500 people gathered for this rabbi funeral and they were like one next to the other. That is the most un-American thing. Where, where I grew up in Monroe, New York, the Hasidic Jews, the Orthodox community, displaced us. They destroyed our community. I got into a situation. Jewish community? Yes, okay. I have plenty of fodder to not like the Jewish community, especially before when I talked about the exploitation of our money. They're the biggest welfare baron in the city. They own all the poor people's property and they get the money straight from the government and it goes to them. There are plenty, plenty of reasons for me to be outraged by what the Orthodox Jewish community does. However, it is completely, completely un-American and we should be all together in arms that they would ever stop Americans from going to somebody they love's funeral as a community. If you know that there's a coronavirus out there and you might die, you have the goddamn right to still go to your rabbi's funeral. I don't care what anybody says. I'm not walking up to you giving you a hug right now because there's a cop there. I'm walking up, I'm not walking up to you and giving you a hug because there's a goddamn pandemic. Okay? It has nothing to do with what they tell me. What? That I'm crazy? I'm usually right, so it doesn't matter. I usually end up being right, so it doesn't matter. Public trains, yeah, they should have been against shut down. Against against the public grain? Oh really? I was right to be weary about uh, the New York State pension plan getting off of fossil fuels in December 2019 just in just in time for the financial collapse excuse me I can't hear you nothing what does your question have to do with science what do you have to do with science what does that have to do with science that has to do with student loan debt and nothing to do with science. If you were a scientist, you wouldn't have a camera in your hand. 